Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a simple bird feeder out of recycled materials such as empty plastic bottles and these things which are cooked dairy dunkers. So for this I'm going to use a nice large orange orange bottle, orange juice bottle. This one has a nice wide top on it as you can see, which will make getting the seeding a lot easier. For the base where the seed goes in, we're going to be using this which is a dairy dunk as I just said. For this we're going to actually cut off the small portion so it looks like this. All you, all you need for this is a, is a sharp knife such as a, a standing knife. So you, you want to cut that off so it's, so it's that size. Then the next step you want to do you want to put a couple of small screws in the bottom which will then attach to the base. So the next step is attach this to the base. It's quite simple. I've already put some screws in as you can see make life a little bit easier for myself so you obviously want it so it looks like that so we're going to attach this to this now you don't need you don't need to drill the screw should go in nice and easy in the plastic you just need a screwdriver obviously You will have to push a little bit hard to begin with. Once it starts going in, it's nice and easy. It doesn't have to be completely straight or level. Once it pierces the plastic, it should go in nice and easy. Do it up fairly tightly, not too tightly, but... As you can see now, that, that's got... That looks like this. Obviously, we're going to attach another one to the other side. That itself is quite solid. Should support the weight of seed quite easily. So obviously now I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to cut that piece off and attach it the same way. Okay so I've cut another piece of this dairy Duncan in half. I put two screws in place as you can see. Next step is to attach it to the other side. Again this is a little bit fiddly. And use a little bit of pressure to pierce the bowl. Once you pierce the plastic, it goes in quite easy to this side. fairly tightly. As you can see now, bird feeder is time to stick, take shape. These two, these two pieces of plastic are on quite sturdy, you can see you can hold it like that. They will easily take the weight of the seed. The next step you want to cut some small holes in the side of the bottle, by here obviously, so the seed can come out and into these. If you've got a drill, you can use a drill, but I'm just going to use a knife. Make things simple. Just that's to start with a very small, kind of re rectangular hole at first. Fairly low down. Just 
helps if you've got a sharp knife. Let's try a small sample hole first. You can always go back and make it bigger. Cut it down like that. So you kind of make a flap. Cut it down like that. That should be big enough to let the seed through. You can bend the bag a bit like that. Or you can completely cut it off if you want. As you can see that that's quite good now. That will let the seed out, which should trickle into here. Obviously do the same for the other side. Obviously don't make the hole any bigger than the actual width of the, the tree. If you haven't got a drill, I do recommend using a drill because it's a bit neater. But if you haven't, you can use a sharp knife. Again, just peel that off, peel the flap down so it's big enough to let the seed through. Bend it back a bit, like so. You can see it's taking shape now. The birds will obviously rest on these. For the top. I'm going to screw the top back on there. Obviously, if you've got a drill, you can make a small hole, put a piece of string with a knot, and then tie it to a tree or your bird feeder, etc. But in my case, I'm going to use a vine eye. These are really cheap to buy. You can buy a packet of 10 for these for a couple of quid max. With one of these, you can, you can just screw it in the top. You don't need a drill again. There's a bit of pressure. I've already done a hole, but bit of pressure and these go in quite easy. Screw that in until this is nice and firmly. That you can then put string or that you can hang that directly onto your onto your bird feeder. Next step is to insert seed. This can be a little bit messy. Obviously when you want to Obviously all you have to do with this one is take the top up, this top nice and nice and big, nice and solid. It can take the weight of the seed. I'm just going to screw it, place seed. You can use a, a piece of paper as a funnel to insert the seed, which makes things easier. Okay, so I've made myself a paper funnel. Next step is to tip some seed in. Any seed will do. A little bit of seed will come out of the bottom, obviously. As you can, you can see, it's already working perfectly. It's coming out with the small holes. Insert the top back on. Make sure that's on nice and tight. You can now attach that to your to your tree or your bird feeder. And that, that will keep the birds happy. I mean, the seed will keep flowing into these little little channels here. I mean, you can experiment. If you do it wrong, just grab another plastic bottle and try again. There's no specialist tools required for this. Just a couple of screws, a vine eye, and a plastic bottle and two um, dairy dunkers. And that's it. It's as simple as that. The birds can eat that and they keep filling up. Thanks for watching.